All right, welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of I the Somnium Files. I have just chugged a cup of coffee and I am ready to start the day. All right, what happened in the last episode? Um, met some new people, <laughs> a new person. <laughs> Finally got to go to the Sunfish Pocket uh, while it was still in business and got to see some of the clientele and some of the girls that worked there. Apparently Date likes skeletons. <laughs> and yeah, we learned some, some interesting things, mostly about Ota, um, who watched Iris's live stream uh, the past night. Iris had a mysterious visitor over the night um, while she was streaming, so we probably will have to look into that. And then we also talked to Mama again, although we didn't really learn much from Mama that we didn't already know. Um, and then we went to the Kubakuras, found out that uh, Mama is a giant ASIT fan, and we used that to blackmail him. And we learned a little bit more about Rohan as well, um, concerning his brain injury. Might have, might have explained why he acted the way he did in the past. But yeah, let's see where the game wants to take me next. Alright, uh, business headquarters. I figured we'd be going there because we, we visited everywhere else. Let us go. And see where the boss orders us to go. Maybe if she found out something more about the cell phone. It'd be great if we could track down who's, who was calling it before. Oh, Ibis. <laughs> commiserate or scream? What is commiserate? I gotta learn a new dictionary term. Com commiserate. <laughs> Express or feel sympathy, pity, or sympathize. I kind of just want to scream at her again. <laughs> Let me look at everything else first. <laughs> the steering wheel. The uh, center console. The dashboard. So that's that's a sword. That's a broad sword. The dashboard. Uh, da, da. A gear shift. This shift lever is filthy. Would you like me to wipe it off? Can you? No, it's perfectly clean. How would you even wipe it anyway? <laughs> the gear shift. Iba needs a body of her own. The passenger seat is empty. Take a look at the rear view window. That's always obscured. The rear view wind mirror. Look at that. A huge dog with a human face is chasing me. What? <laughs> you should grant it the right of way. <laughs> huge dog with a human face. I think what, what that um, what they're trying to say. I don't know. You can see the scenery through the rear window. The glove box. Date, last night when you were asleep, I snuck out and put something inside the glove box. What? Flower in a plastic bag. Hey, you trying to get me arrested? Why would you do that? I'm a cop! <laughs> the glove box. Is that your idea of a prank, bro? Just a prank. Just a prank, bro. Uh, I really just want to scream at her. <laughs> I'm gonna scream at her. <laughs> Ghost! I have been here for several minutes now. I know, even like looking around the car and. Could you not come out like that? Why not? If people see you, they'll freak out. But they can't. She's just projecting herself on your eyeball. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Oh. Right. <laughs> but returning to your answer, why would people freak out if they saw me? I mean, do they have hologram technology right now? Like, they seem to have holographic police barriers. It wouldn't be so... So, um, out there to see, like, a hologram person. <laughs> Even, like, I think I've seen 
like pictures and videos of uh, what are they called? Vocaloids? They have like all these Vocaloid characters. And like they have a huge fan following and they actually have like hologram concerts. Just them on a stage like dancing around as if they're like a 3D person. But but an anime 3D person. Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you dressed like that sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. Oh, that's what you're worried about. <laughs> She's also see-through. Which uh, <laughs> If you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. I mean, that would be kind of weird too, if you had like a hologram of like this young girl next to you. <laughs> it's kind of like, I guess it would be kind of stig stigmatized the same way as like anime body pillows. <laughs> uh, <laughs> should we commiserate her now? I'm already tired of this, Iba. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shoko's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours. But our investigation has made zero progress. I wouldn't say zero, but it's made baby steps. Sorry. I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess, yeah. We, we haven't really pinpointed a person yet. In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. Iba is sitting on the passenger seat. Well, to be precise, the image of Iba is sitting in the passenger seat is being sent to my brain. Uh, <laughs> that's true about that. Do you really self-destruct? An AI <laughs> never lies. I, that's not true. I feel like you've lied to me before. Or at least... Or, or are those just all jokes? So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct <laughs> in my eye socket? Your skull would pop like a balloon. Holy cannoli, <laughs> why do you have that feature? <laughs> yeah, like, why do you even have that function? What? Would it be like, I don't know. The only reason why I could think she would have a self-destruct function is if someone tried to steal her. Um, it would destroy the technology so they could, like, reverse engineer her and, like, steal steal the secrets about how to make like another AI like her. Let's ask her, why do you even have that function? My body is full of cutting edge technology and state secrets. Yeah, that, okay, I figured. You are kind of... There's a lot of money put into you and it's in Date's eye. In terms of hardware as well as software, I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. Yeah, having something like that can be rather dangerous, I think. What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. <laughs> About your self-destruct function? <laughs> Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. Oh, you can't do it. You can't- you don't- you can't will it yourself to someone else has to like push the button or something. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. I cannot harm myself. However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. That worries me. Who has administrative authority? You have such authority. Oh, okay. Let's keep asking about the self-destruct function, jeez. Let us determine a code number. One that will activate the detonator. Why are we why are we setting this up? Are we gonna make Iba self-destruct? Command four one two Zero, five. If you issue this command, I will detonate. 41205? No, that's still too dangerous. What if he says... We need some kind of safety. Yeah, what if he's, what if he's just like reciting a phone number or something and the, the, the string of numbers like come up in it? The number will be the first lock. <laughs> 
if I give you the second command within one minute of the first? What is the second command? Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Okay. Oh god, it's making me think that we're gonna we're gonna make Iba self-destruct somewhere down the line. Understood. Hm. Okay, about your self-destruct function. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. Uh oh right, because she's isn't all her data uploaded to the cloud. Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud. All by wireless communication in real time. Even if my body is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. Okay, so essentially we're walking around with a bomb in our eye. <laughs> I guess we could throw it at throw her at something and have her blow up. My memories as well as my core programming will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. You just transfer her to a different body. Yes. As long as the server is alive. Okay, how did you come up with that number? Yeah, why why four was it? Four one four one two two zero five? Hey, about that five digit command. How did you come up with that number? Like a random number. It is my favorite number. Is it? That's Okay. It's a very big number to be your favorite number. There is no particular meaning. Okay. Really? Alright, uh, about me and Iba. Six years ago, I lost my past. Oh god, lag. <laughs> Name, addresses, family, childhood, everything. But that wasn't all I lost. My left eye. I don't know how I lost it. The earliest memory that I have is of me aimlessly wandering the streets of Shinjuku. Until a good friend gave me a hand. Oh. Boss is the one that found us? <clears throat> Come with me. To where you belong. Boss helped me become a cop and assigned me to Abyss. A year later, I was called into the control room where Peter showed me something extraordinary. The official title is AI Ball. Alright, let's learn any more about Date. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Hang on, I've gotta clear my throat. <clears throat> ah, Alright. The mucus is just running up and down. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. It's like Pewter's baby. Its ability to think is controlled <laughs> by a program we call the Wadget System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. It's been five years since then. Five years and a number of tough cases. But... This time is different. Hmm. Looks like Iba's sitting in the passenger seat. Uh, I'm concerned about Renju. Where could Renju be? I know, where the heck is he? It, at least we haven't found his body, but... He, we, he's in danger right now, and he's hurt. Severely hurt. I also wonder where he could have gone. Mm, about Shoko Nadami's murder? About Shoko Nadami's murder. We still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Iba, 
Is that number still turned off? Please wait. Oh, we're gonna try call call it again? Um, maybe we should have Iba take care of the talking? Can she do that? Date will just flub it up. Date, the line is connected. Uh oh. Really? Really. Like, let's not let's <laughs> let's not have Date be in charge of this. Can we have like a like a professional? Like like an actor? Call it. No! Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. I guess Iva can do that, just fabricate another phone number. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? Uh, Shoko... <laughs> Why would Shoko's phone save from a cabaret club? <laughs> that one. Oh no, we're doing that one! I didn't... <laughs> be irregular there. What? Do you plan on questioning everyone who's been there? Abyss's line? Let's do the like the obvious wrong not wrong answer. No connection. Yeah. Wow. My home phone. Why would mm. I don't see why he would block Date's phone and like his home phone in particular. No answer. All right, let's do Shoko's phone, I guess. I thought they blocked Shoko's phone though. I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line. Right, he might pick up. I thought he block the oh wait oh wait he didn't block right you couldn't use he couldn't use the rental phone because the power was off so he used his he used iba instead to call i forgot about that but a normal call may yield the same results as before i have an idea do you remember what shoko's voice sounded like yes i do i remember everything that i see and hear can you reproduce her voice? I mean, we did re reproduce her voice in the Somnium, so... Analyzing recorded audio data. Imitation should be possible. Well then... Okay, I was gonna take care of it. You want me to call with Shoko's voice? Yeah. Me? Yeah, because Date will just... Flub it up. You're the only one who can. <laughs> it's not like Dot take it. <laughs> Just try to try to imitate a woman. Hello, this is Shoko. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence. Not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. It must be nice. All right, Hal, let's see what you can do. Dit. Oh. It, it's connected. It's ringing. <laughs> I must know. Stop. I thought you said you did get nervous. Uh, 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 uh. Calm down. Deep breaths. <laughs> Wait, you don't need oxygen. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. <laughs> Focus, they're gonna hang up. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Impossible. Huh? Who's that voice? Who's that voice? Yes, I died two days ago. Idiot, why did you say that? Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister, Shoku. What? <laughs> Can you come up with a better excuse? 
I vote you're, you're as bad as Date. Probably been hanging around him too much. His, his personality quirks have rubbed up, rubbed off on her. Your twin sister. His name. Get his name. How? How can we get their name? Tell me you have a package and need his address. Ask, are you Yamato? In case of being an imposter, ask for his name. Um, tell him you have a package and need his address, maybe? <laughs> I think the right answer is this one. Uh, uh, my sister has a package for you. Where should I deliver it? Send it to my office. Where is your office? Uh oh. What do you mean? Look it up. Do you even know who I am? This isn't working. They're going to hang up. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Accuse of. Like, I guess we're going through the list. Accuse of being an imposter. Right. You're an imposter! I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. <laughs> I am so Sajid. <gasps> oh! That was the right answer. <laughs> We got his name! A congressman. A politician? Oh no, we have a... We have a solid connection between him and Shoko. Sajima. Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh... Sorry, something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. Why so? Uh oh, okay. We have We have We have a culprit. Unknown. At least a very suspicious person. But that was definitely So Sajima. I was able to match his voice to public records of him speaking. So Sajima is a minor celebrity. He even goes on TV sometimes. Two days ago, he called Shoko. Why? In any case, that was an excellent performance, was it not? <laughs> even with all your nervousness, Aiba, you still pulled through. You did much better than Date. Yeah, good job. Is that all? What, do you want me to pat you on the head? <laughs> no nothing like that. I tat my fingertips against my left eye. <laughs> Stop! It tickles! Oh god. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Uh Stop! The nerve might break. <laughs> okay. A call came in soon after. Oh, I guess we can't call Iris. That was the other option, right? Probably might. If we couldn't call it, or if it's not letting us call, it probably would have led to nothing anyway. Who is this? Tate! A call from Investigation HQ! Alright, stop rubbing your eye. Connect me. Is this Special Agent Date from Abyss? Got the a policeman. My name is Akasuka, from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier. From a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. Oh, is this gonna be number 89 again? A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here, I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shogun Adami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. 
I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. But I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. I wonder if they're gonna take him seriously, because there hasn't been another body yet. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Do you think it really is just a prank? Well... To be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. But for now... So, Sejima. Okay. Looks like we're going to the Sejima residence. Oh, it's not, it's really dark. Sejima residence, Sunday, 7.54 p.m. I'm not sure he's gonna want a visitor. Well, let's see. Hey, you can't be here without permission. Hey. I'll call the police! Uh, <laughs> darn. What happened? I am Sir. the police. A uh, police officer. You. Can I help you? Okay. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm a very busy man. You can ask me tomorrow during normal business hours. <laughs> nah, I gotta ask you now. It's about Shoko Nadami. You can't tell me you've never heard of her. As a matter of fact, I have. It was reported on the news that she was killed. Two days ago at 9.02 p.m., you made a phone call to Shoko Nadami. A phone call? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're breaking eye contact. Yes, you do. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> can't look at the vase. Look at the mansion. The Sujima residence. Uh, the topiary. That's a big kabosu. No, wait, that's a bush. It's a nice bush. Not a kabosu. <laughs> it's kind of interesting how so does recognize us. He seems to recognize us at least. He just kind of referred to us as you. I hope I hope they go into more of that. Like the last route that we did. They Yeah, they didn't really they didn't really focus on that. But like so just said like said that he was Date's father, so that was just like that one word was just like a big old truth bomb and they just like never went into that again. A tree. I wonder if he knows that Date has amnesia. Look, Date, your favorite cabaret girl is here. Is it Reika? That's just a lantern. Reika isn't that sturdy. <laughs> a garden lantern. A garden stone. Oh man, I could like twist all the way, Jeebus. There's an arc shaped stone bridge over the pond. There's the I will look. A kappa. A kappa monster? Is it gonna. Does it want a cucumber? Is it, is it, is it gonna poke my butthole? He is a wealthy, powerful man. It is not surprising that he owns a pet kappa. <laughs> Wait, it's... no. Really? If that's a mis mi mystical creature. Really? <laughs> Date. Don't be fooled. There's a small island in the center of the pond. Give me cucumbers. D I feel like I heard a strange voice. A 
pond. The cat. I guess there's a cat in there. It's weird how they have odd fascination with, with cucumbers, of all things. Uh, da -da, stone. Nope. Nothing over there. Should we poke and prod his bodyguards who seem to be twins? A bodyguard. Because I can't tell these guys apart, this one will be B. <laughs> oh, this one, this one A? A bodyguard. I can't tell these guys apart, so let's just call him A. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? He didn't say a word. Uh, what's your blood type? Maybe maybe we're compatible. What's your blood type? Okay, I'll guess. You're a B. Definitely a B. You're being rude. <laughs> I knew it. That attitude is so B of you. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like, Jap it's like Jap Japan has like these weird superstitions about blood type that like they say your blood type dictates your personality and if you're a certain blood type you might not be romantically compatible with another blood type <laughs> like they kind of went too far with that it's just all it's just all biology at that point <laughs> i don't think it has anything no bearing on your personality uh, you got a girlfriend, bodyguard, son? Got a girlfriend? Didn't think so. Sorry, bud. I'm married. Oh. This guy's domestic. Oh, he's, he has to provide for his family. His normalcy must be punished by death. D How dare he be a normie and have a wife and probably a beautiful wife with, with children? A is standing there. Okay. How about how about B? B is standing there. Uh, why are you wearing sunglasses at night? Don't those sunglasses make it hard to see? I wear my sunglasses at night. I made a face at him. No reaction. I guess he really can't see it well in those. Uh, how much do you get paid? Hey. How much do you get paid? What? I'm talking about cash, my friend. I rubbed my thumb against my pointer finger, or pointer fingertip in a circle. Probably double what you make. Really? Iba, bring up a job search website. <laughs> Says Dante, want to get a job here? On it. B is standing there. Your boss is a liar, you know. Your boss is a liar, you know. Aren't all politicians? <laughs> He's aware. That's surprisingly honest. <laughs> he gets he gets paid at the end of the day, so nothing on him. Date, perhaps there's something you should be using. Oh, that. Why the thermo? We didn't haven't even talked to him yet. Let's take a look. All right, let's take take out the thermo. You red hot liar! So much blood. Where's all this red coming from? It's a thermograph. <laughs> We've seen one earlier. Yeah, I knew that. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Anyway, he's lying. How do I get him to admit it? It's like we just used it on Moma. <laughs> what will make So confess he killed Shoko? Thread. <laughs> <laughs> Call him. Uh, probably not threatening him with the gun. Probably not peeling off his nails or bribing him. Substitute for congressman. I've seen him on TV so many times. I feel like I've met him before. What if I? What if? <laughs> this is obviously the wrong answer. Peel off his nails. I should get some pliers and take his nails off. I thought that wasn't your style. Okay. Well, well at least he's just thinking in his head, not threatening him. Threaten him with your gun? That's one way to get shot at. Maybe I'll pull out my gun. That would result in heavy disciplinary action. We you know the the bodyguards are packing heat. Bribe him, he I'll with, give you one million yen for the truth. With what? He's already rich. Only one million. Only? <laughs> That's the kind of world he lives in. Alright, let's call him. 
Iba, call this phone again. We have your number. Using Shoko's line. Understood. You're not gonna pick it up? It's from Shoko. I had her give you a call. What? Caught red-handed. I caught you red-handed. It'll stop ringing soon. Three, two, one. See? Fine. I did call her. Around nine o'clock, just like you said. All right, can't can't wiggle his way out of this one. Finally confessing. There's nothing to confess. I did nothing wrong. I assume he didn't get an answer. Then why did you lie to me? Because I didn't want to get involved in all of this nonsense. You mean to tell me that I am a suspect? My call was after Shoko died. If I were the killer, why would I do that? Mm, that's true. Why would he, like, implicate himself like that? I mean, he might have felt safe because it was a burner phone, but... He had no reason to call Shoko if he if he knew he was already, if she was already dead, unless he knew that someone killed her and was, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> just grasping at straws here. I don't know. But we know that he's heavily involved. But I'm asking the questions. Do you have a warrant? I thought not. Ugh, darn. Got blocked. I'll be leaving now. Good night, detective. So I went back inside his mansion. I tried to follow, but So's bodyguards blocked my path. Go home. Darn. Unless you want to get kicked out. We need a warrant. Oh, we can talk to him more. <laughs> like a UFO. Uh, what's the relationship between So and Shoko? I don't know. Even if I did, it would be confidential. About So's alibi, I mean the bodyguard would probably just lie. Bodyguard testimony, they say, is not reliable. Do you know where So was Friday at 5 p.m.? Here, in the mansion. Can anyone corroborate that? Maybe the housekeeper. Yeah, everyone in So's employ. Why does So have a burner phone? I don't know what you're talking about. So's bodyguard is in my way. Alright, nothing more from him. <laughs> uh, look, a UFO! <laughs> Look, a UFO! He didn't flinch. <laughs> Look, the Mothman! Look, the Mothman! He didn't flinch. Look, a grandma! Look, a grandma! He didn't flinch. Look, a porno mag on the floor! <laughs> Look, a porno mag on the floor. Oh my god, you're as bad as Dante! You're, you guys would be great friends. I like this guy. <laughs> oh man. Well, we know. We know his weakness, so his bodyguard is in my way. Do you know Shoko Nadami? I've heard of her, but I've never met her. I saw her on the news. Anything suspicious about So lately? No, nothing special. Not any different from any other politician, anyway. Date, a minute. What happened? So is on the move. Oh, is he making a run for it? Most likely in a car. How do you know? I hacked So's smartphone, and I'm currently tracking the GPS. Oh, he forgot to turn off his main phone. Not his rental phone. The one registered under his name. Where is he headed? Unknown. Somewhere to the east. East? Keep tracking him. 
Okay, because we gotta chase him down. Roger that. All right, Harbor Warehouse District Sunday. 8.51 p.m. Where, wait, why are we here? Why did so immediately come here? Don't tell me. What was so doing here? It's on a Sunday night. We should have called Iris. Date, my apologies. Iba outside the cold storage where her battery is almost out. What's gonna happen? What's wrong? My battery is low. Are you serious? We forgot to charge her. Why didn't you do that on the drive over? This is not going to be a problem. I can see still. I can still see out of my right eye. Maybe my vision. My vision halved. I went to the warehouse. <clears throat> What is What is that? That wasn't there before. Let me look around first before I look at the obvious different thing. A forklift. There are n there's not a lot here. Is this warehouse not in use? Plaques. There's no blood, which is good. I, I guess. There's a cardboard box on the floor. A wooden box on the shelf. A hook is hanging from the, from the ceiling crane. A forklift. It's an oil drum. The shelves are packed with cardboard boxes. There's nothing in the shadows. Oh. <laughs> There's a switchboard in the back. Something's covered with a white cloth is on the table. That's... We're gonna go look at it. what's underneath it. <clears throat> it can't be. What's your charge? Wait, what? Currently at 2%. Oh yeah, you're like almost- you're dead dead. Can you make a call? <laughs> can I call the police? I can. I am connected to the power supply. What do you- Hurry. Just connect me to boss. Date, what's wrong? I found a body. What? She was murdered. Multiple stab wounds to the back. And one eye missing. Oh no. Location is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The victim... The victim is Iris Sagan. Iris? 
She was she was killed differently this time. It wasn't on live stream, it wasn't it wasn't public. Ota wasn't there to save her either. I'll tell you more later. Just send CSI to the scene right away. And one more thing. Congressman Sosajima, bring him to Abyss. Wait a minute, why? I'll take responsibility for everything. Just do it, please. <sighs> All right. Does she does she die in every route? <laughs> well not die, but like We because couldn't sometime real soon? We couldn't save her. I'm going to die. God damn it! I thought this was going to play out differently because yeah like every like everything seemed to be kind of delayed like Saturday came around and like we still haven't found Renji's body so I thought maybe Iris would be safe as well. So alright, police headquarters Sunday 9.48 p.m. Do you honestly think you can get away with this? Funny, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Date, calm down. You know Iris Sagan, don't you? No, I don't. I've never heard of her. Maybe he's lying, maybe he's not. But even if he doesn't know her name... Even though it's so doesn't know Iris, what clues do we have? Iris's body was found frozen in the warehouse. Her right eye was removed and she suffered multiple stab wounds to her back. Right eye? There were no other visible wounds on her body, so the stab wounds were likely the cause of death. From the size and shape of the marks, the murder weapon is almost definitely a knife. Possibly a kitchen knife. Iris' time of death. Thinking about how Iris' body was frozen when I discovered it. It must have taken at least 18 hours for the body to freeze to that state. That would... That would take all day. Wait, was it so that visited her at night during the live stream? Why would he do that? I entered the warehouse at 9 p.m. 18 hours prior to that was 3 a.m. Iris was last seen alive around 2 a.m. She was live streaming, so there's no doubt about the time. Meaning Iris must have been murdered between 2 and 3 in the morning. Right where Iris is found. Iris's body was discovered at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse in the warehouse district by the harbor. Okiura Fishery? That caught my eye too, but we'll get to that later. The actual murder site is unknown. The lack of blood at the scene makes it highly likely that she was killed somewhere else. Alright, the visitor at 2 a.m. Oh. Iris was live streaming until 2 a.m. today. Someone visited her and interrupted the stream. I hadn't been in contact with her for a while. Whoever visited her this morning almost certainly has something to do with the murder. Iris's pictures. This is the image stored in the Persons of Interest database. I guess. Yeah, yeah that's that's not relevant. So leaving the warehouse probably is. I saw is. So walking out of the cold storage warehouse where the corpse was discovered. Iber recorded the whole thing. Yeah, she saw that part at least. Just before my battery ran out. 
<laughs> no, that's that was lucky. Alright, I think a video of Iba recorded. We have so coming out of the warehouse clearly, so I think it's I think it's this this is damning evidence right here. That inform what are you talking about? <laughs> that that's we saw him leave the body where Iris was found, maybe? Iris' body was found in the cold storage warehouse owned by Oki or a fishery, but she was probably killed elsewhere. This one? No, that's not it. No, wait. Uh, we're not, we don't have to show her the picture, do we? Iris is killed by multiple stab wounds in the back. The weapon's probably a kitchen knife. Whoops, didn't mean to mash a button. I guess we could show him Iris' picture, maybe? A picture of Iris? Do you know this girl? I put a picture of Iris in front of So. So you've never met her before? I have not. Have you seen her corpse? Corpse? I know you've seen her body. Based on what? Okay, well, we saw, we saw you leave the warehouse. You saw the corpse how? We saw, we saw him leave the warehouse. That is also important, but there's something else. And then we immediately found Iris inside the warehouse, where as, as soon as so left. Iris's body was found at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. What does that have to do with anything? I stood up and went to the corner of the room. I picked up the PC monitor and put it on the desk in front of him. This. Iba, play the video. Right away. We have cold hard evidence. I see. Then I suppose you know I was there. Then you saw the body. I didn't. Oh, come on. I was at the warehouse. But I didn't see any corpses there. So there was just a random body under a white sheet that you didn't see. Don't lie to me. It's the truth. Then what were you doing there? You don't have an answer for that, do you? I choose to remain silent. You what? Remain silent. Well, oh, gonna enact his rights. As is my right, guaranteed by law. I'm not gonna say anything that can incriminate himself. <sighs> Remember that I am a politician. I know my rights. He's gonna hope he can just sweep all this under the rug. But why? Why would he why would he kill Iris? Date, can I get a second? Boss, what are you gonna suggest? What? Does it matter if he saw the body or not in this case? He's a busy man. If we hold him here too long... Wait, you're just gonna let him go? You want me to stop beating around the bush? I certainly do. You believe that Sosajima is her killer. Or is at the very least involved in the crime somehow. Yeah. Why not ask him for his alibi first? Alright. Yeah, I mean he won't have one. I need to know So's alibi. I hmm. I guess we need to know. Did he vi visit Iris at two a.m.? Was the visitor her murderer? Where was he at two a.m.? This isn't exactly relevant, but it is interesting. Uh, which, what, where do you want me to? <laughs> Uh, time of death. Iris is killed sometime in the early morning between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. Maybe this one? Oops, 
Why do my A button? <laughs> this one? Iris was killed sometime between 2 and 3 in the morning. Do you have an alibi for that time? I was playing Mahjong all night. At a place called Dora Dora in Shinjuku. Okay, if it's an actual place, they would probably have cameras. Politician spending all night in a Mahjong parlor. An exclusive Mahjong parlor, yes. It's Mahjong, you should have had three opponents with you. Indeed I did. But they were all strangers. I don't remember their names. Date, I did some research. Dora Dora is a private room Mahjong parlor. It is owned and operated by one individual. If the rooms are private, that limits the number of potential witnesses. Hmm. That'd be way too convenient for him. The shopkeeper might be in So's pocket. He's the only one we can ask about So's alibi. Especially if he doesn't remember any of the three people he played against. He might as well not have an alibi. Yeah. That's not much of an alibi, So. Was, were there cameras? Was he caught on camera? There, there should be cameras like everywhere in this world. Please, this is ridiculous. First you suspect me in the matter of Shoko Nadami, and now this? You're very suspicious right now. <laughs> you, you, you are in con- you were in contact with Shoko, and now we literally found you stepping out of a- out of a warehouse with a body in it. I haven't killed anyone. Not Shoko, not Iris. Besides, if I stabbed a woman, why would I bring her to a cold storage warehouse? I mean, the place is abandoned. Maybe you thought that they, they wouldn't be found? But then why in the other route did he livestream it? That's, that's the confusing part. Wait. What did you say? Wait, what did he say? If I stabbed- wait, did we say that she was stabbed? Is that? Ah, <laughs> eh, who caught you? <laughs> we didn't say anything about her being stabbed, did we? Only that she was killed and the corpse was there. So didn't respond. But I remembered. He slipped up. If I stabbed a woman. So does know about the corpse. Because... How could So know about the corpse? The autopsy report, right? Oh. Iris was killed by multiple stab wounds to the back. The weapon is probably a kitchen knife. Uh, we, we didn't show him this piece of evidence oh. yet. I never mentioned Iris's cause of death. How do you know she was stabbed? Because... Because you did it? Don't be stupid. Then how do you know? Stop dodging the question and answer! <clears throat> Boss, give me permission to sink. Oh, are we gonna sink? Uh, he can't hide inside his own head. Alright, should we are we are really are we really gonna sink? Maybe I should save this for the next episode. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't want to... Hmm, is she gonna let us sink or is she gonna let him go? I think, I think I will save this for the next episode though, because, yeah, I don't want to get into a sink and, like, that could, that could take anywhere between, like, 30 minutes to, like, an hour. The rate that, like, some sinks have been going. Alright, I know, I'm just leaving off at a cliffhanger here. Let's see if we have any new case notes. That's a new appendix term somewhere. Three laws of robotics. The science fiction author Isaac Asimov put forth three principles in his work, Runaround. First law, a robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. Second law, a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. In the third law, a robot must protect its own existence, as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Alrighty. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm, I, I want to keep going, but yeah, I don't want to like exhaust myself with like a two hour episode or something. So I will end here. We will, we'll see if we will get to sync with So in the next episode. I hope you guys are having a fun time and I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye.